Kathleen Moore was last seen Sunday night. Just to give you an idea of how many people are worried about her right now, since I started looking into this case, I've nearly received more than I can count of the number of friends who've reached out to me on social media, by email and text messages, each and every one of them telling me how much they love her and that they need her home. Tonight on The Missing, what happened to Kathleen? Tonight, candles flicker near a picture of Kathleen Moore as her friends and co-workers at Whiskey Wings in St. Pete pray for her safe return. Monday night is when I started reaching out to people like this is not like her. Nikki Whalen has been friends with Kathleen since they were 11 years old, a 20 year long friendship. They hung out all day Sunday, barbecuing in the day, then hitting a beach bar that night. Around 11.30, Kathleen left Nikki's Largo home with her on-again, off-again boyfriend, saying she was going to his home in Newport Ritchie, telling Nikki she would pick up her car in the morning. I woke up Monday morning to get ready for work myself and realized that she wasn't here yet or had called me to like say, hey, I'm running late or whatever. That's when I was like, something's not right. And immediately called her phone and they went straight to voicemail. The 34 year old didn't show up for work or school. Her friends say that's not like her. So they called the Pasco County Sheriff's Office Monday night, who immediately searched the area. I appreciate you so much turning her phone in. Her cell phone was later found in a dumpster in Newport Ritchie by this man who says he's homeless. Investigators using it and questioning the last people who saw her, hoping to find Kathleen. Somebody knows where she is or somebody knows what happened. There's more to the story. And we reached out to her boyfriend but have not heard back yet. Keep in mind, there are no suspects in this case. If you know anything about where she is, call the Pasco County Sheriff's Office.